Okay, so I've got my Revlet fired up. I've created the C++ program. I want to um, basically make this my first program. Um, and I'm going to talk about things that are, are code related and things that are good practice related. So the first thing is when I write any program, I want to give it um, an explanation at the top to describe what this thing is. And I do that in this thing called a comment. Um, and there's two kinds of comments. There's multi-line and there's single line. I'm going to put um, several lines of information in this one at the top. So I'm going to do a multi-line comment and it starts like this. It's a forward slash and an asterisk. And notice it suddenly turned everything light gray. That means that everything's inside the comment right now. I'm going to put some text in here. So I'm going to close it um, on line three. And it will make anything that I type in between these two symbols. Notice the way that it starts and the way that it ends are basically mirror images of each other. Um, anything I put in between these lines will now be a comment. What that means is it won't affect how my program runs, but it does allow me to put some English explanation of what I'm doing because other programmers will need to read and understand what the heck you're doing. Um, so I'm going to basically say this is my um, uh, first program. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say that I am the author. Um, so I'm going to author uh, header, and then I'm going to give a description. Um, outputs some text to the console. I'm just saying very briefly what it does, OK? Um, so this is a multi-line comment to sort of explain what my program does. And that is a very good practice to do, to put a title for it, uh, maybe your name, and a sentence or two about what this does overall, OK? Notice this goes at the very beginning of my code. There's nothing above it, right? This is my, my top line comment to explain what I'm doing, OK? Um, there's another kind of comment. So you can put these anywhere you want throughout your code to explain what you're doing. Um, maybe I only want to write like one line. And so what I can do then is I, I can do two forward slashes and I can then write a comment next to it. So I'm going to say outputting my message because that's what the line below this does, which I'll show you in a second. Um, notice when I hit enter, I'm not doing a comment anymore. You can tell that because the code is now full color instead of light gray. So that's if I want to just do one line of text. If I wanted to write more here, I could make one of these multi-line comments um, here as well. But since it's just one line I'm writing, this is faster. Okay. All right, so what am I? What do I got in here now? I've got um, the stuff that comes before in main, and it usually starts with a pound sign and the word include. This is referencing um, a library include. I want to bring this IO stream library into my program. I is short for input, O is short for output, stream is like my flow of information. I'm always going to have this library included, um, and this line, and I'm going to put a comment to label this. Now you do not need to include comments that simply label what code is. Um, you use comments to explain your problem solving process, but not what code is. Uh, but I'm going to do this to label this for you. This thing is called a preprocessor directive. Um, anytime you see that symbol that's what you, you've got a preprocessor directive okay and what's it doing this is bringing in the library called iostream and that's going to let you write out to the console the console is this black window over here and read in from the keyboard which we'll get to um, in a bit but this library um, as you as you might imagine every program you're going to want to have to be able to see what's happening. So you're always going to need this library. We'll add additional libraries as we go, but you will always have this one. Okay. Then we get down to the main function of my program. Notice there's a blank line here. That is good practice to not have everything smushed together um, because a human needs to be able to read this and it's really hard to read if everything's really smushed. Okay. So it's a good practice to have um, a blank line or a couple blank lines between chunks of what you're doing. So I'm going to separate my preprocessor directives from the next thing that's happening. Okay. Um, so int main is my main function. When I run my program, it comes and finds this line and it starts running what's in these curlies just straight down. So this is my starting point. Even if I had code above this, it would still find this and start running from here. Okay. Um, and it always has to have this format, int and main. Now what Replit does is it leaves out a line that kind of explains what this int is. And that's that at the end of every program, really, there's this line 
called return zero and this means when I'm done tell the operating system like Windows or your Mac OS or whatever that I have finished and there's no errors and you see this zero here it's an integer which is why this is int this is called the return type means um, the program will return an integer to specify errors no error so if your program should crash before it hits the end it would return a number that is not a zero to the operating system if I can get all the way through my code and have this return zero get hit oh, then it means I finished and there was not an error okay now Replit knows that you always need this at the end so it leaves it out if you leave it out when you hit run it'll automatically inject that into the code um, before it compiles and starts running so you can leave it out but know that that is what's happening at the end okay when I get down in here um, I've got this line that Replit gives me um, it says std colon colon c out c out is short for console out this is my console this black window over here so this means take what is ever over here and send it over to this guy now notice these little um, less than symbols these guys are called insertion operators they point towards where the information is flowing so I want to put this text out to the console so my arrows my insertion operators point at the c out okay when I run this it takes what's in the quotes which is called a string literal and puts it on the console over here if my connection catches up with me there we go hello world and notice it knocked my um, my cursor down to the next line that's what this little backslash n does this guy is called an escape sequence when you see a backslash that means it's an escape sequence and is means new line it'll drop down okay um, so the one thing I want to show you real quick is uh, maybe you don't want to have to do this std colon colon maybe you're like what is that this means um, take the standard namespace meaning for c out these little guys are called scope resolution operators this tells that this commands meaning is coming from the standard namespace um, now it's fine if I have one line but if I have a whole bunch of commands and I have to always write std colon colon that's quite annoying so what I can do is if I go up here between my uh, preprocessor directives and my main and I type using namespace std then I don't have to do this in front of these commands I can just straight up use the commands without it and it'll make your code um, easier to read as you go and this gets longer and longer okay all right so again um, when something's in quotes like this it's called a string literal so I'm gonna put that string literal that means it'll print out exactly literally what you typed in the quotes I'm going to put here um, this backslash n is an escape sequence that means drop to the next line there's different ones of these that we'll look at later okay um, and I can print out this text um, another thing I can do if, if an alternate way to drop down my cursor is I can get outside the quotes and I can put more insertion operators and then put a command end this is an L and not a one um, and endl means end line which means drop to the next line okay and then I can put um, another C out here how are you if I wanted to I could put this and put more text next to it um, goodbye now here's the thing I don't want to like have my code like scroll forever so I, I kind of like to do multiple C outs it's okay if you scooch this over um, if you can see it all but you kind of want it not to, to wrap to the next line if possible because it makes it hard to read and um, I just want to show you that these endels drop me my cursor each time before it prints the text that's after it okay um, yeah all right so that's a basic very simple C++ program